This presentation covers our paper Single Day Outdoor Photometric Stereo, which was published in the PAMI Journal of 2020. Photometric stereo is a technique that recovers object shape using several images from a single viewpoint lit from different directions. It has been shown to work very well in laboratory environments where lighting is controlled. However, performing photometric stereo outdoors remains a challenge since we cannot control the lighting. That causes a problem because to obtain a stable reconstruction, we have to light the object in at least three non-coplanar directions. The sun gives a lot more than three lighting directions over the course of a day, but they all lie on the same plane. That causes the photometric stereo problem to be under constraint, so we cannot reconstruct the normals accurately outdoors on small time intervals. To understand what is going on with outdoor lighting, we must understand how a surface patch is lit. Instead of taking the lighting from a single point light source, we consider the mean of the visible hemisphere in an environment map, which we call the mean light vector, which is a valid simplification when analyzing simple materials with Lambertian reflectance. We have to redo this analysis for every different normal present in the scene. One of our contributions is a framework to analyze and predict the photometric stereo reconstruction quality when using photometric cues. Here is a sphere representing all possible surface normals in a scene, where black represents a good expected surface normal reconstruction and yellow or white regions represent where the reconstruction uncertainty is high when applying classical photometric stereo methods. We see that on partially cloudy days, we can achieve a good overall reconstruction accuracy. In contrast, an overcast day yields a much more uncertain signal and much worse reconstruction accuracy. Our analysis shows that even for the simplest Lambertian reflectance, outdoor photometric stereo reconstruction using photometric signal alone is not always possible. Analyzing the behavior of the mean light vector throughout the day helps us understand what makes outdoor photometric stereo work. In this work, we show that overcast days cannot help photometric stereo as the mean light vectors always points roughly towards the zenith. In contrast, partially cloudy days provide enough shift in the mean light vectors so existing photometric stereo methods can work in this case. However, there is another weather condition that cannot be dealt with existing methods. Clear and sunny days. Sunny days provide a lot of photometric cues along the sun trajectory, but provide almost no signal in its perpendicular axis. This means that the surface reconstruction is well constrained in one direction, but not the other. However, in this case, there is still some signal that can be recovered. In this work, we go one step further than analysis and ask ourselves the question, how can we solve the problem of outdoor photometric stereo for cleaner, sunny days? To solve this, our insight is to learn a regularizing prior based on the sun trajectory. The position of the sun in the sky throughout the year at a particular time of day, which is called the solar analemma, is well known and structured. In these figures, each H-shaped path is composed of 365 points, one per day. Our goal is to leverage this knowledge and augment it with learned regularization when little or no signal is available. To perform this, we use a neural network, which takes as input 8 patches of images lit throughout the day and estimates all normals within the patch. We repeat the operation for all patches in the image to obtain a full surface reconstruction. To train this network, we use the Laval Sky HDR database to light the blob dataset from Johnson et al. We simulate multiple geographical locations during training. We also prevent training bias towards the blob's geometry and ensure good generalization on real objects by using windows of 16 by 16 pixels during training. Enough to observe the local geometry, but not large enough to recognize the old object. Our method yields state-of-the-art results on test sets of render using real captured lighting, showing an almost 40% improvement over the previous state-of-the-art. Here are some results of our method on real captures. The left-right axis is well constrained by the sun trajectory, while the up-down component of the surface normal is mostly left to priors. Thanks for your attention.